Hello there, my name is Richard McMunn from the interview training company PassMyInterview.com and in this tutorial I'm going to help you to pass a JP Morgan interview. So if you have any job interview coming up for JP Morgan, please make sure you stay tuned and watch this presentation from beginning to end because I promise to help you prepare fully and also be the standout candidate. And to achieve my goal, this is what I will cover. I will give you a list of JP Morgan interview questions that I strongly recommend you prepare for. I will give you example answers to common JP Morgan interview questions to help you succeed. I will give you some really important tips on how to prepare for your JP Morgan job interview. And I will also tell you how to answer the interview question, why JP Morgan, which is pretty much guaranteed to come up during your interview. And I will also tell you about further resources you can get access to to help you succeed at your JP Morgan job interview, including the slides that I'm working through today. So there's five reasons why I recommend you stay tuned. Just very quickly before I get into the training, a very warm welcome to this JP Morgan interview training presentation. My name is Richard McMahon. That is me there in the centre of the screen. I've been helping people for literally, literally over 20 years now to pass their job interviews. And I always do that by giving you top scoring answers you can't find anywhere else. Please do make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of the training videos I upload. You can also connect with me on LinkedIn if you want to. My LinkedIn link is in the description below the video. And it's always great to connect with like-minded professionals. Please also do me a favor and give the video a like because that tells me you enjoy the content, you find it useful, and therefore I know it is worthwhile me spending my time creating these videos for you. Thank you very much indeed. So the first question I would like you to prepare for, for your JP Morgan job interview, is tell me about yourself. Now this is very much likely to be the very first question that is asked during your JP Morgan job interview. Now, my advice within your answer is to make sure you focus on how you will add value to this great organization. So JP Morgan is a brilliant organization. Um, it provides exceptional service to its clients and it is somewhere that you need to show you can add value within their team. So here's a strong answer to help you prepare. I am a standards driven person who always takes responsibility for my actions. Over the years, I have worked hard to improve my skills and gain experience in areas that I feel will be a strong match for the values here at JP Morgan. I will provide excellent client service. I will be a supportive team member and I will always put the objectives of the organisation at the heart of everything I do. I am a good communicator and I understand the importance of building long-term relationships both with work colleagues, external stakeholders and clients. In my current job, I have been consistently praised during my performance reviews for exceeding targets and for meeting high standards. I've been very excited in the build-up to my interview today with JP Morgan and if I am successful, I promise I will always work hard. I will always improve and I will take responsibility for my career and carry out my duties with diligence, professionalism and passion. So that is a very strong, positive answer to that first JP Morgan interview question, tell me about yourself. And what I like about it in particular, it then gives you the confidence to move forward with the remainder of your interview. So here's that all important question, why JP Morgan? Again, it is pretty much guaranteed to come up during your job interview. Now, on the surface, this appears to be a very easy interview question to answer. However, the hiring manager will have heard 101 different responses to this question. So make sure your answer is unique and one that shows you have carried out lots of research. So here is my suggested answer to the interview question, why JP Morgan? I want to work for JP Morgan for three reasons. Firstly, I am an ambitious person who wants to work for an organisation where I will be continually challenged and pushed in my role. It's important for me to continually grow and develop personally and professionally. And this is a place I will be surrounded by like-minded people. 
The second reason is JP Morgan has a set of business principles that are impressive and inspirational. The principles will ensure I always work to high standards and that means I will continue to build up an impressive set of skills and qualities. Finally, JP Morgan's reputation amongst clients and the industry in general is very strong. I see my future here at JP Morgan and I only want to work somewhere that constantly innovates and improves. I like that answer because you are giving three reasons why you have chosen JP Morgan. So the majority of candidates will just give one reason why they want to work for this organisation, but you are giving three valid and genuine reasons. I also like that answer because you are talking about their business principles. I will talk a little bit more about those as we progress through the presentation. Now, please don't go anywhere because I still have more questions and answers to work through with you, which you will find useful. But when you are ready, if you want to click that link in the top right hand corner of the video, it takes you through to my website, passmyinterview.com, where you can download my full set of 24 JP Morgan interview questions and brilliant answers, including the ones we are working through together here today. But let's now move on to the next interview question that I want you to prepare for. That is, what are JP Morgan's business principles? Now, very few people would be able to answer this interview question with confidence. They will have no idea what the business principles are. Now, the business principles underpin JP Morgan's operations and the way they do business, which is to very high standards. So it's important in our preparation for the interview that we read these and understand them. So here's my suggested answer to this tough JP Morgan interview question to help you succeed. Here we go. There are four core business principles at JP Morgan. The first principle is exceptional client service. You always focus on the customer, you invest for the long term and you operate at a local level, which means the level of service you can provide is relevant, consistent and based on the needs of the client. The second principle is operational excellence. You have a very strong reputation for setting high standards. You are disciplined in your approach to risk and you always make sure you have a rock solid balance sheet. You also make sure you are fully compliant and you operate with efficiency and effectiveness. The third principle is commitment to integrity, fairness and responsibility. This means you create a positive working environment for everyone that is respectful, inclusive and that demonstrates humanity and humility. Finally, the fourth principle is you have a great team and a winning culture. You focus on hiring a diverse and talented team of people that encourages loyalty and strong morale. Everyone within the organisation has a strong set of values and work ethics and you make it a place that people want to stay working at for the long term. Now, although that is an in-depth answer, it shows that you know a lot about how JP Morgan operates before you even um, attend the job interview. You, you are looking into the organisation, you're carrying out lots of research. And you could also use part of that answer to the why JP Morgan interview question. So you, you notice that I touched on the business principles in my answer to that question, why JP Morgan? So if you learn those four business principles, it gives you something else to talk about during your answers to the interview questions. And it shows that you are fully prepared. The next question, tell me a time when you dealt with a rude client or customer. Now, this JP Morgan interview question is assessing how well you understand the importance of dealing with clients professionally whilst providing exceptional service. So we already know that one of the business principles of JP Morgan is providing excellent client service. Now, this is a tough question to answer because you must give a specific situation you have previously been in. Here's my example answer to help you. In a previous job, I dealt with customers and clients on a regular basis and it was important to provide exceptional service at all times based on the customer service charter that was set by the company. One situation comes to mind where a client was contacting me virtually every day, both by email and by telephone, questioning the work I was doing on their behalf and also asking how much longer it would take to complete. Now, sometimes their comments were rude and confrontational. I explained to them how important it was for me to spend time doing my work to a high standard as this would save them money in the long term. 
I also gave them reassurances that I was genuinely trying to help them and that I would contact them with a weekly update moving forward to give them a progress report. Now, by taking this approach, the relationship improved significantly and their tone and attitude towards my work was more pleasant and positive from there on in. I fully understand how important it is to provide outstanding service to your clients whilst working here at JP Morgan, and I will never let you down regarding this important area. So it shows that you don't take this type of situation personally, and you always remember that you are acting as a positive role model for JP Morgan, and it is important that you provide excellent client service. Now, the next JP Morgan interview question is what are your strengths and weaknesses? Again, this is pretty much guaranteed to come up during your interview. So my advice is to list four or five strengths that are a match for the job description and then give them just one weakness that does you no harm. Here is my suggested answer. My four main strengths include the ability to work well both on my own and also as part of a team. I have an adaptable approach to work and I will fit into any team quickly. I am a strong communicator, both written and verbally. I understand I need to communicate in a manner that is commensurate with the JP Morgan brand, and I will always act as a positive role model for your business. I will always provide excellent client service, and I fully appreciate that without satisfied clients, your business would not thrive. Finally, I am somebody who always looks to improve and develop, and I realise there is always something to learn, no matter how much experience you have. In respect of my weakness, I find it difficult to say no to people, even when I don't have the capacity to take on extra work. I am trying to be more assertive when appropriate, and this is one area I am looking to improve upon. Now, what I like about that answer is you are loading it at the beginning with lots of strengths, and then you are just mentioning at the end one weakness that you have. But that's actually... Um, it's actually disguised as a strength, because if you are somebody who finds it hard to say no then I would look at that, that you are going to take on as much work as possible. And that's important. You might want to add your own strengths. For example, another good strength that you might want to add for JP Morgan jobs is your ability to maintain compliance, your ability to assess risk responsibly, and also your technical strengths if you are applying for a technical related job role with JP Morgan. Now, the next thing to do is to click that link in the top right hand corner of the video. Go through to my website, passmyinterview.com, and on that page, you will find four really important tips, additional tips for passing your JP Morgan job interview. I've also answered some of the common questions people ask me about JP Morgan interviews on that page as well. And you also have the option to download all of the answers to my recommended 24 JP Morgan interview questions, including the ones that we have worked through here today together. I hope you've enjoyed that. Please don't forget to subscribe. Please do connect with me on LinkedIn and also give the video a, a like. As I said at the start, a lot of work goes into creating these videos and the unique answers. And if I see people liking the videos, that encourages me and motivates me to do more for you. Thank you very much indeed for watching. Have a brilliant day and I wish you all the best for passing your JP Morgan interview. Thank you very much.